Welcome back guys, so the first thing we want to do is actually click on Xcode and next thing we want to do is create a new Xcode project we're going to select single view app and I'm just going to call this NFC tutorial and 2 only because I think I already called something NFC tutorial make sure you have storyboard, storyboard selected unclick use core data and let's go ahead and click on next and I'm just going to save it onto YouTube in, t in the YouTube file okay so before we can do anything there's actually some I guess some paperwork that we need to do first we need to move to signing and capabilities and make sure that you're not getting any errors here and then what you need to do is click on add capability and type in knee field communication I'm gonna go ahead and double click that and again we're just going to wait until there is no errors showing okay so by the looks of it we're not going to be getting any errors and the next thing we can do is actually head to info the plist and in here we're going to click on the plus button for information property list and we're going to type in privacy and then we're going to say knee field oh there it, there it is nfc scan usage description and for the dictionary we want it to be a string and then inside of here i'm going to give the app a reason to why we're using nfc so i'm just going to simply say for nfc scanning and that's all we need to do to set up our uh, app now i'm gonna go ahead here in the main storyboard and all I will be adding in the storyboard is a button now obviously I can just call this from the view controller straight away but I just want to show you how this is done so I will be using the main storyboard just to show you how you can call it from buttons and so on so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this plus button I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop button and I'll try center it inside the screen let's just expand this a little bit and again put it in the center and instead of just saying button I'm gonna go ahead and say lock tag there we go now let's go ahead and open our assistant and the first thing we need to do is simply drag and drop the lock tag inside of our file uh, our Poco touch class here and I'm going to say scanning oh uh, sorry locking tag button and I'm gonna go ahead and click on connect okay so now that we have that done we can actually close storyboard and I can just simply navigate to the view controller okay so after moving to the view controller what we need to do is that we need to start preparing this file to start using the core nfc capabilities so we're going to go under the ui kit and we're also going to say import core nfc now in order to start using core nfc we we need to actually allow the view controller to inherit some nfc delegates all we need to do is simply type in nfc followed by n def reader session delegate and it's going to throw a bunch of errors wait for them click on this button and then click on fix copy them and i like my code at the bottom so i'm simply going to cut them from here and simply paste them down over here and before we can do anything else we need to create an nfc session so go to the top of your file and say var and then type in nfc session and let's give that a value of nfc ndef reader session after that we actually need to call this variable in order to start our session but let's just do something before that let's start preparing our nfc functions so we can write and lock this uh, the tag that you want to lock so I'm actually going to keep these two functions empty and I'm going to add a third NFC function so I'm simply going to say func for function and then I'll say reader session and I want you to go ahead and select the second one well it's the second form one for me and make sure you leave this as NFC and def tag inside of here we we want to connect to the first tag that we scan so all we need to say here is let tag 
equal to tags dot first and after that we need to connect to that tag so I'm simply going to say session dot connect and I will say tag because that's the tag that we first captured here and I'm actually gonna go ahead and remove the completion hand handler completely and we're going to open and close a bracket and inside of here we wanna capture any errors if they arise so I'm going to say error is equal to error and then I will say in and now we actually need to display that error if it does actually come so I'm going to say if new so if there is actually an error we wanna first of all say session dot alert message so we wanna alert the user and we're just going to say unable to connect to tag now something else you can do is that you can actually pass in the actual error so that the user actually sees the error uh, and why it was unable to connect to the tag but it's a little bit messy and a little bit um, technical so I usually just leave it as unable to connect to tag and obviously if we do have an error the next thing we want to do is invalidate the session so stop the session so I'm going to say session dot invalidate and then we need to return this now we're still not done so this is just tackling the errors now we actually need to do something in terms of uh, if there is no error what do we do so if there is no error we wanna lock this tag so I'm simply gonna say tag and then I'll say dot write lock and I want you to remove everything inside this bracket and I'm going to open and close zigzag bracket and inside of here we're gonna do pretty much the exact same thing so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it like this and paste it over here and this time I will say because remember right now we connected to the tag so I'm just gonna say unable to lock tag now it's saying expected a bracket in class so let's just add it and I'm assuming there will be some more errors um, okay so now that we have this done there's just one more thing we need to do and that is actually let the user know that hey we managed to log this NFC tag so I'm going to say else and then I will say session dot alert message and let's say tag was locked successfully and after that again we need to invalidate our session so I'll say session dot invalidate and again remember to return sorry return and there should be another return statement just over here so let's go ahead and click on command B just to make sure that we don't have any errors showing and as you can see it says build succeeded so this will allow us to actually lock a tag once it's scanned and I will show you what I mean right now so I'm gonna go ahead and connect my phone and I'll start recording my device again okay so if you ran this you realize that nothing happened and that's because we actually forgot to call anything from the button so let's go ahead and do that I'm so sorry about that so in order to call an NFC session all you need to do is simply say NFC session and we're gonna go ahead and say that this is equal to NFC and if reader session dot init delegate itself queuing is new and invalidate after first read is true for my case then what we need to say is nfc session dot begin and now if we actually run this it should work I only have one tag with me and it's already locked but I'll show you what I mean so I'm gonna go ahead and click on lock tag and when I bring the N my nfc tag which again it's already locked close to my phone as you can see it will say unable to lock tag 
so from what we understand from here is that yes everything was called properly and it's saying unable to lock tag because my tag is already locked if it wasn't already locked this message will show up and it will say tag was locked successfully and the tag would have been locked successfully so this was everything in this tutorial thank you for watching and please remember to reach out to me in twitter i'll leave the link in the description you can contact me you can ask me for help or you can offer to hire me and yeah that's pretty much everything have a good day Thank <laughs> you.